The Degree Audit Report Summary, or DARS, takes the comprehensive list of degree requirements and superimposes them on your academic record, showing which requirements you have satisfied and what you need to satisfy your remaining requirements. The DARS report includes those classes being taken during the current semester. As you open your DARS report, you'll see your name, the name of your advisor, and some other basic information about you. Below that, you'll see a series of green checks and red X's. These are degree requirements. Each requirement is a drop-down menu. If you click on the black arrow next to the red X or green check, you'll see more details about that requirement. The first requirements listed on a Letters and Science DARS are general education requirements. These are followed by foreign language and then breadth requirements. If you open up the drop-down menu on the general education requirement communication, it will show you two parts, communication A and communication B. When a requirement is made up of two or more parts, either a plus or minus will appear by each constituent part of the requirement, showing whether that requirement is satisfied or not. If we open up the breadth requirement humanities, we see that seven credits have been earned, leaving five credits remaining to be earned for the total of 12 credits for the requirement. Next to this is the subheading of literature. A plus next to that subheading shows that the literature requirement within the humanities requirement has been satisfied, while the red X confirms that the complete humanities requirement has not yet been satisfied. After requirements for the major are listed other requirements for the degree. These are intermediate advanced credits, liberal arts and sciences credits in the degree, total credits in the degree, credits in residence, and quality of work in the degree. If we open the requirement for intermediate and advanced level credits, we see that 19 credits have been earned, six credits are in progress, leaving 35 credits that need to be satisfied. This highlights the fact that the DARS report includes those classes being taken during the current semester. The in-progress credits are those credits which you are currently taking. For liberal arts and sciences credits in the degree, 108 credits need to be earned in courses specifically credited as letters and sciences credit. This includes all courses in LNS departments and those courses in departments outside LNS which are designated with a C in the GEBLC column in Student Center's class search. This leaves you with a maximum of 12 credits that can be taken outside of LNS without an LNS designation that can still count for your degree. In this case, 46 credits have been taken, 12 credits are currently being taken, leaving 50 credits remaining. 120 total degree credits must be completed for the LNS bachelor's degree. Here, 49 credits have been taken, 12 credits are currently being taken, leaving 59 credits needed to complete the degree. The last 30 credits of an LNS degree at UW-Madison need to be earned in residence. Residence credits include courses taken abroad only if those courses are taken in a UW-Madison study abroad program. The quality of work requirement requires a minimum 2.0 GPA in all coursework, a 2.0 GPA in intermediate and advanced level coursework, a 2.0 GPA in all coursework in the major, and a 2.0 GPA in intermediate and advanced coursework in the major. This DARS does not include GPA in the major because no major is yet declared. If you have any questions about the symbols or abbreviations used in the DARS report, a legend or key explaining all symbols and abbreviations appears after all the requirements. The legend is also a drop-down menu. Your DARS report helps you to monitor your own academic progress throughout your college career and is an important tool in facilitating conversations with your advisor.